In this video here, we're going to take a look at arithmetic sequences. A sequence is just a, a group of numbers, and they would follow a particular pattern to generate them. In this video, we're going to look specifically at arithmetic sequences. So arithmetic sequences are lists of numbers in which we are adding the same number to each of the terms. So let me show you an example of an arithmetic sequence. I'm going to start with 3. 3 is going to be my first term. And then I'm going to keep adding 2 to each of these terms. So if I add 2, I get 5. If I add 2 to this, I get 7. If I add 2, I get 9. I've now generated an arithmetic sequence because I have added 2 every time to generate these next numbers. So 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, and so on and so forth. Example of an arithmetic sequence. I could start at negative 4, and I could add 3. And I would generate an arithmetic sequence. And so, so on and so forth, as far as I'd, I'd want to go. So these are example of arithmetic sequences. And sometimes when we're looking at arithmetic sequence, we want to know what the difference is. And the common difference, or usually we just call that D, is simply found if we want to find the common difference then we're just going to take the second term and usually we call that T2. That just means the second term and we minus the first term T1. So in my first, let's get rid of this one, let's go back and look at this first one here. Here the first term we would call T1, the second term we would call T2, the third term we could call T3, and so on T4, T5, T6. So each one of these are terms in the sequence. And if I want to find the difference, I just take the second term, which I know is 5, and I minus the first term, which is 3, and I actually can find out my difference that way. Of course, a lot of these are easy enough. You can just look at it and see. Obviously, they're adding 2 each time. So the difference between each of the terms is, is 2. Um, and it turns out we don't actually have to take the second and minus the first. I could take the fourth and minus the third. So 9 minus 7 would be 2 as well. So really we get a com common difference we can find by taking any term n, tn, and subtract tn minus 1, which would be the term before it. But often we know the first and second term and we can find the difference that way. Now let's say in this sequence that we've got right here, I want to find the 20th term. 2 every time, so how can we come up with a formula to enable us to find any term in this sequence? Well, let's look at the first term. The first term is, if we're asked to find the first term, well, that's just 3. t1 is t1, the first term. What if we wanted to find the second term? Well, I would take 3, the number 3, and I would add one of those differences to it. The difference here was 2. So to find the second term, it's 3, the first term, plus 1d, which of course we know is 2 in this example. If I wanted to find the third term, I could start at 3, but I would have to add 1, 2 differences to get to, to 7. And if I wanted to find the fourth term, well, I'd start at 3 and I'd add 1, 2, 3 differences to get to the fourth term, and I think you can see the pattern here now. If we wanted to find the fifth term, you'd start with that first term, but you'd add four differences. So notice the relationship between the term you want to find, the three, and how many differences you need to add. So if I want to find the fourth term, I need to add three differences. If I want to find the fifth term, I need to add four differences. So instead of finding each of these, if I wanted to find the twentieth term, I just need to take the first term and add nineteen differences, always one less. And so since we know that the difference here is 2, then the 20th term would be 3 plus 19 times 2, which is 38. So the 20th term here would be 41. So 
So we can generalize this. We can say the general term, if you want to find any term in a sequence, we'll call that Tn, you'd start with the first term, whatever that is, and you'd simply add one less, so n minus one, differences. So just like we said here, if we wanted to find the 20th, 20th term, so if n was 20, then that would equal the first term plus 20 minus 1, or 19 differences. And if I wanted to find the 30th term, say I wanted to find t30, well that would be t1 plus 30 minus 1, or 29 differences, whatever your, your sequence ends up being. So let's summarize these concepts that we've learned so far and some of the vocab that we've learned. So an arithmetic sequence is an order of numbers where the same number is added to each term to produce the next number in the sequence. So we're adding the same thing every time to get to the next number. And if we want to find the common difference, well that's, that's that number that is added each time to produce the next number. We can always find the common difference by taking any term and minusing the term before it. So Tn minus Tn minus 1. So usually we would do T2 minus T1. And if we wanted to find any term in the sequence, t of n would equal the first term plus n minus 1 times that common difference. So if I wanted to find the 20th term, I'd take the first term and I'd add 19, 20 minus 1, 19 differences, and that would find me the 20th term. So we'll look at a few examples now. So here's a couple of examples. Let's say we want to find out in each of these what is t12. And over here, same thing. What would be the 12th term? Well, we know that this is the general formula. So tn equals t1 plus n minus 1 times the difference. So if I'm going to find the 12th term, I need to know what is t1. And I need to know what is n, and I need to know what is d. So t1 is the first term, that's minus 3. n is the number of terms that we've got here. We're asked to find the 12th term, t12. So we're interested in knowing what's the 12th term. And then we've got to find the difference. Well, the difference will be any of these terms minus the one before. So I could go 1 minus minus 3, or it might even be easier this time to just go t3 minus t2, 5 minus 1, that's clearly 4. So now I can say, okay, t12 is equal to t1, that's negative 3, plus n minus 1, so that's 11 differences, and the difference is 4. So negative 3 plus 11 differences. Well, 11 times 4 is 44. Remember to do your order of operations, so do the multiplying first, 44. And negative 3 plus 44 is 41. So the 12th term in, in this sequence is 41. Let's look at this one here. So again, we've got to find the 12th term. So we're going to need t1, that's 10. We're going to need n, that's 12 again. We're asked to find the 12th term. And then we've got to find the difference. Well, the difference is, why don't we just do t2 minus t1? So that's 7 minus 10, which is negative 3. So yeah, notice how these numbers are going down each time. That means we must be adding a negative number to make them smaller. So the difference here is negative 3. And we would put it in our formula. So t of n equals t1. t1 is 10 plus n minus 1. So that's 11 differences. And the difference is minus 3. 11 times negative 3, that's negative 33. And 10 minus 33 would be negative 23. So the 12th term in this sequence would be negative 23. Let's consider this example here. So in this example, the question will be, let's find all these missing terms in this sequence. So we don't know what the first term is. We know what the second term is. We don't know the third term. We don't know the fourth term. But we do know the fifth term. And we've got to find t1, t3, and t4. Well, because it's an arithmetic sequence, if I took this number that I know is 2 and I added the difference, whatever that is, because we don't know what that is, that would give me this term here. And then if I took that term there and I added another difference, 
that would give me this term here. And if I took that term and I added a difference, that would give me negative 10. So here's what I know. I know that 2 plus 1, 2, 3 differences is minus 10. And so I can use this simple relationship of an, in an arithmetic sequence to find out what the difference is. And once I have the difference, then I can find any of these, these terms. So, so I had this term, I knew this, and if I added one, two, three of those differences, it would give me minus 10. This is a simple equation that we can solve for d, so let's minus 2 from both sides. And now we can divide by 3. And so now I know the difference is minus 4. So that means these numbers are going down by 4 each time. So if I want to find this next one, if I minus 4 off this, the next this term would be minus 2. And if I add another negative 4, now I'm at negative 6. And I can check if I add another negative 4, that would give me minus 10. And of course, going this way, I need to subtract the difference. So if I subtract a negative 4, minus a minus is like adding 4. And so this would be obviously 6. And now we can double check. 6 minus 4 is 2, minus 4 is negative 2, minus 4 is negative 6, minus 4 is negative 10. So that's some of the examples that we can use in working with arithmetic sequences.